guys welcome back to my channel if you're seeing me for the first time you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much it's your girl Valen Asa again so today's video was requested by one of my subscribers Lua Shun by name so he recently got his visa so that's another plus to this huge family okay and then he's like uh, Miss Valen what next now my visa has been approved what next and that's the thing which you know life because at some point you'll be um, praying for something and then when that thing gets done you move on to something else you start worrying about something else and all of those good stuff but yes i'm thankful that at this point what he's worried about is actually like what next my visa has been approved what next like what next so um that's a good thing but if you are still trying to get your visa approved or anything like that you know all you have to do is you know reach out to me via email or click the link in my description box to join my telegram group that way you get a one-on-one -on -one session with me and you know your video request or your video idea can actually get uploaded on this channel okay so this video is dedicated to you and anybody that's you know um out there looking for what next video after the visa approval okay let's dive right into the video So guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this video. So in today's video, we're talking about um, the things you need to do after your student visa has been approved. So the first thing that you need to do after your student visa has been approved is to book your flight. Now, it is the first thing you need to do because, you know, these things are expensive. Like the earlier you book your flight, the less expensive it gets. So for instance, if you're traveling to, let's say, the United States of America, any state in the United States of America, and you book one month before, you'll get a lesser, you know, price than when you book one week to the departure date. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I want you to go ahead and start booking your flight. Now, if you guys don't know how to book your flight or anything like that, and you need me to make a video um, to direct or guide you, also let me know in the comments below because I know it can be a lot of hassle and then you can even start using agents and then they charge you even more than the ticket itself. So you don't want to um, increase um, you know, expenses. All you want to do is to limit expenses and you know be economic as much as possible because the moment you land in the United States of America or even Canada or any country that you're going to expenses will definitely start you know um, ringing and don't forget there is exchange um, rate that is not smiling you know on you or anybody like that so go ahead to book your um, you know flight and all of those good stuff the next thing that you have to do is to start parking now i made a dedicated i think almost um, 40 minutes or an hour video long of the things you should pack when going to the united states of america or the things you should pack when going to canada or any country provided it's not your home country provided you're an international student or anyone in general go and watch that video and i'll drop the link here so that you are able to like you know watch the video and know the things that you should pack the necessary items your school stuff your um, personal belongings your clothing your you know because there's a lot of misconceptions about traveling and packing things that it happened to me and I don't want it to happen to you so that's why you need to ensure that you start packing and one good thing that you know that's important that you know um, is the reason why you have to start packing is because if you don't start packing on time you end up packing um, you know missing a lot of items that you should have packed you forget so many things you are so carried away about the fact that oh your visa has been approved you are traveling out of your home country you are higher than your friends I know some of you yes don't stop talking yes 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 some of you will be like ah, we are not mates anymore I beg, I'm a Londonier, I'm an Americana, you are traveling. And by the time you know it, it's just three days to your trip and you're like, what should I pack? You don't want to be in that spot. So the next thing that you have to do is to start packing your items and on time too, so that, you know, if by the first, you know, the one week to your departure, you can go over your list again, watch that video that I made and, you know, make a checklist because it's actually a checklist and see the things that you have packed and the ones that you haven't packed. So from that checklist, you can tell what is left and then you can make, you know, um, additions of those items in your um, bag. So the next thing that you need to do is to find an apartment guys i told you that i was able to find an apartment right before i got to the united states of america yes that you know experience was terrible because my roommate was actually not the best roommate whatsoever but it saved me a lot of stress it saved me a lot of um issues it saved me a lot of problems it saved me a lot of you know pressure because i didn't want to be under pressure and of course when you're coming other people are coming as well so that will be like a hike in the demand for apartments so you don't want to be in that position because most people are going to come to the u.s 
and then that's the time they'll start finding an apartment so it's going to be a lot so rather than wait for you to get there you can start your apartment hunting process you know right there in your home country so what I started doing recently was to help my subscribers find an apartment in the United States of America and you know this um, assistance is not limited to Birmingham or Alabama state as it were if you're in any other state and you have an admission you have a visa approved and you need my assistance in um, finding an apartment you can actually click the link in my description and you know from that link join my telegram group and you will be told the next steps as to um, getting um, all of my services for my subscribers on this channel now I have a knock on my door I think it's precious and I'm going quickly to Oh yeah, you have your key. Precious is here guys. So I am going to say hello to her and then I'll quickly end this video so we can start packing and you know that we eat, okay? I need to say hi to my baby. Bye. So guys, I'm back. Um, so I have, I made a couple of videos about finding an apartment and those videos are actually on my channel. So you can click the link here or just check through my channel to see those videos and have an idea as to um, what I'm talking about with my assistance to helping other international students find an apartment. I need to cut my breath, yes. Well, then calm down. Um, so the next thing that you have to do is to review your resume. Now, I made a video about the things you should do before coming to the US or, you know, upon your arrival. But this, in this, um, you know, phase and time, if you have already reviewed your resume before now this is another time for you to start reviewing that resume because now you are sure your visa has been approved so you know you are going to go before now you were just reviewing it you weren't sure but this is time to go over it now and then tailor it to the country that you have been um that you're going to and all of those things and tailor it as well to your uh, major because that's the most important thing at the end of the day so if you need me to make a video on how to work around your resume as well let me know in the you know in the comments below another thing that would help you basically with the resume thing is to reach out to your career center and have them go over the resume that you have now after you've reviewed your resume you send it to your career center reach out to your career center in your school which I know that most um, schools have so reach out to them send your resume to them and have them go over it so that before you get to the United States or your country or anything they have gone over that resume so you'll be tailored ready to like you know start job hunting the moment you land that is very important the next most important thing that I need to tell you you guys is that you need to reach out to your professor now reaching out to your professor is important because it can actually land you a job you want to come to the United States prepared you want to come to the United States and you have like another means of funding for your program even if you have like partial funding or no funding at all reaching out to your professors before you even arrive would set you apart from others because now they you know they start having communications with you then they start getting to know who you are oh hi professor I'm this 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 I'm coming from this country and this is you know I'll be here soon do you have any vacancy can I work with you is there any position available I really want to work with you but you don't just reach out to any professor reach out to the professors that are in line with maybe the research you want to work on or anything that you want to do so because if you um, reach out to a professor and you're not saying speaking the same language it just doesn't make sense it will mean that you haven't done your homework you haven't you know done any research so it's important that you reach out to those people and that could actually land you a job another thing that you have to do is to work on your LinkedIn profile if you don't have a LinkedIn profile as we speak this is the time for you to get it done because it's important get a LinkedIn profile and you know go over it if you need me to help you with that as well of course use the link in the description box to join my telegram group as well the next thing that you have to do that is important most people do not know this but you need to start connecting with students from that school so if you're coming to UAB for instance reach out to these people they have Facebook groups they have um, Instagram they have pages on Instagram they have LinkedIn um, um, you know profile as well and then just type in the name of the school on LinkedIn and begin to research people that are there LinkedIn for instance if you are reaching out to people in UAB and you're in cybersecurity just put um, just impute UAB at the search bar and then add your major there that way it will tailor your search your results to the people in um, in UAB and the people in, in your major so those are the um, keywords that you should use to make your search and then reach out to them I have somebody here that reached out to me via LinkedIn actually the person reached out to another person and the person then referred him to me and you know as we speak he got his visa approved yesterday and he'll be in the United States of America by the first week of January and you know I can't wait to see him and I wish him safe travels so that's one of the things you have to do then the last thing I have to say right now is that you should 
please this is the most important thing i need to say this because you don't understand when you come here you're going to be going through a lot of cultural shock a lot of things you feel lonely loneliness is like another course on its own so expect it to happen to you so um that leads me to the next point which is like um you creating or spending more quality time with your family you need to spend more quality time with your family bond with them bond with your friends i know most times you will not tell your friends that you're leaving nigeria or you're leaving your home country all of those things because we're advised not to tell people but the thing is spend as much time as you can with them build up those relationships even if you don't need to tell them that you're traveling because it's important spend more time with your family go out with them go on dates um go to restaurants buy things enjoy create memories video them document them take photos together because when you are down in your country that your next country your destination or anything like that you can go over those videos you can go over those photos and you feel like you feel reassured or something like that it is very important you don't want to come here and then you're all alone and nobody's here to help you and you feel like oh i I wish I had spent more time with my family. Now they are far away and you cannot you know, have that time with them. And sorry for that. I'm sorry guys. So um, you need to ensure that that you know happens and of course you know because there's also time difference it's also a problem so you will not have you know as much time to even call back home or most times they will not even be on whatsapp or anything like that they will not have data you will have data because you pay for these things 24 hours but they will not have data 24 hours so that's why it's important that you build um, family time connect bond with everybody that you can bond with and tell those that you can tell and not tell those that you cannot tell but create you know let that relationship um, build and blossom and that's it for this video I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications bell on so you are the first to get notified whenever I upload my content. And give us, um, you can reach me on all my social media platforms. And you can also reach me by um, via email. And you can click the link in my description to join my Telegram group and have one on one sessions um, with me. So that will be all for now. I need to go prepare for my trip. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.